What's up guys, go check out the channel, we'll be breaking down all the Deltarune stuff, subscribe if you guys want to and all that great stuff, thanks for uh, uh, clicking on the video and all that great stuff, and um, we already got like a bunch of Deltarune videos already, so we going hard. Uh, peace out, peace out, peace out, I won't keep you guys any freaking longer than amazing. What is up, what is poppin', what is poppin', feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, join the Pichiro squad, please do that, I would highly appreciate it for me helping you, please do that, uh, I create Undertale Comics. Deltarune mods, Deltarune theories, Undertale comics, all sorts of stuff like that. And I'll also create stuff like this that helps you guys out that are wanting to know how to do stuff. So basically, there is a lot of confusion on how to do texture mods in Deltarune. So you're not going to want to go to sprites because you're not changing each individual sprite. However, I do want to show you that you see where Susie is up here. This is a hitbox. If the sprite is outside of that square in any way, shape, or form, then that will get chopped off. It'll be cropped off. So you'll want to get every sprite that you import or replace, I mean, you'll want to get perfect you'll want to get it perfectly matched within the square that you replace it with. Otherwise, it will not look right. You're also going to want to get the animation smooth. You're going to be doing a lot of replacing and a lot of where's waddling. Um, that's a really hard from, word for me to freaking say right now. I don't even know why. So what you want to do is you want to export the last two uh, texture folders. These are the main ones you can use. There's other ones like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. But most of the main characters are on the first three. Mainly the first two though. So what you'll want to do is export it. After you export it, you'll get a folder that sort of looks like this. Not a folder, my bad. A PNG file that sort of looks like this. You want to save it as a PNG file. That way it has a transparent background. What you'll want to do after that is replace every sprite um, that um, you're trying to replace. So if you're trying to make uh, um, the main character Chris turn into Mario, you're going to want to find all the walking animations for Chris and replace it with your Mario sprite. Now, it's going to be tedious, it's going to be um, kind of annoying, but this is how it works. Unless there's another way to do it that, I, that, that I'm unaware of. This is how you would do it in the Undermodder tool. Um, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to join the Petro squad. Um, please do that again. Please do that. It, I, I would highly appreciate that. Holy crap. I create comics for Undertale. I create Deltarune streams. Just come to the stream. If it said I was streaming at the beginning, come to the stream. Feel free to watch my video on the release date of Deltarune as well as other things that explain what's going on in Deltarune. We have about 40 videos for Deltarune. All freaking ready. Yes, I went hard. I know. And this right here probably make it like almost 50 at this point for how many Deltarune videos I have. So I hope this helps. After you change the files, you'll want to re-import these files back into the correct sprite sheet. So if you, um, if you exported the sprite sheet from here, and if you changed the sprite sheet from this sprite sheet, you'll want to import that same sprite sheet that you changed back into this layer that way um the right things are changed so you see lancer up here if you changed lancer into mario and you wanted this sprite to be affected you want to uh, uh re-import it back into this with the same basically the same sprite sheet oh uh, I, I probably sounded a little bit you know a little bit it's, it's kind of self-explanatory once you get to this point so i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to figure it out even if at that point, you know, I kind of like it kind of <laughs> it was kind of hard to explain. So basically, um, whatever you name the file that you export, if you edited that file, re-import it to the same sprite sheet. So don't export this one and re-import it to this one. Re-import it to this one after you've changed it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I hope this helps, guys. And um. And that's um how you would mod in the Undermodder tool for Deltarune and other things. Even this is kind of how the Sonic Mania stuff works too. If you want uh, another um look at how to do it, uh, just look at a Sonic Mania. How to mod Sonic Mania is pretty much the same thing, except I think the Undermodder tool is a little bit better. In all honesty, 
honestly think it's a little bit better because you can actually um if you wanted to do more than texture mods i think you can you might be able to mess with variables and stuff i don't know what that would do though you might be able to re-import it back in a game maker at some point maybe not right now but i know you could probably mess with this stuff uh i'm not sure if you can mess with text in this i mean really messing with text if you wanted to mod text guys all you would have to do is mess with the um the text files i think it's pretty simple it's a lot more simple you don't really need a um under modder tool to actually do anything like that i don't think um but that's pretty much it for the most part that's pretty much it and then whenever you're done what you would want to do after you're done modding you'll want to save it and uh save it as data and then dra then drag that data file that same data file into your survey program and replace the data file that you created with the first data file that uh you used to import it into the undermodder tool now this might crash your computer or stuff like that so um make sure you look at all the warnings that pop up on Undermodder on the Undermodder tool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helps. Subscribe, hit the bell to join the Petro Squad. I probably said that about a million times. I know a lot of people have been asking, and um, this is how you would do it in Undermodder. This is the easiest way, I think, to mod Delta Rune. And be prepared for the future of Delta Rune because if you uh, mod these, then I think you will be um, pretty much set for when the real game comes out. If you're able to mod the real game, you probably will be able to. So. Deuces, 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 you know how to mod, make me that mod dude.